Guys, what's up? It's Emery. Today we're going to be talking about how to get to level 66 or in general just how to get a shit ton of XP. Whether you're trying to level some alts or reach 62 fast or you want to try to climb to the top of the growth leaderboard, this is the video for you. So first things first, we're going to be talking about buffs, right? The number one buff you're going to want to take advantage of very often are the church buffs. So here we are in Heidel. So this is the main road. It all goes slanting downwards like that right along the center road. We're going to cut around here and go to this left area down here and go up here. We're going to take a left right here. We're going to go this way. We're going to go up here. We're going to go in here. And then we're going to go in here. And we're going to talk to this priest right here. We're going to talk to him and hit chat. As long as you have five of these gold bars in your inventory, you can get any of these buffs. Of course, they do different things, but we're always going to want the experience buffs. You are always going to want to have these gold bars in your inventory. From now on, you do not leave your house in the morning. You do not leave the bathroom. You do not go into your mother's house unless you have gold bar 1Gs. Hit experience, and boom, we just got an experience buff that lasts two hours. Now, this one is 15%. That's actually great. If you already know how the church buffs work, sometimes this amount of XP might be 5% or 10%. Just grab the XP buff and move on. If you spend all your time trying to get 10% extra more XP, then you're going to miss the big important thing, which is work hard and not waste time. Now, the reason we covered Heidel's church buff first is because we're going to be going to the Bloody Monastery. So switch servers and go to one of the ones with the green icon so that you go into an Elvia realm, of course. We're going to have the extra hard Elvia realms around Serendia now. So this is the first location we're going to check out. This is for more advanced gear. So here we are just to the southwest of Heidel a bit, right? We're going to head just to the south over here and we're gonna go to bloody monastery right here we're gonna click on the triangle and it's gonna take us to this npc right here and we're gonna head there so here's the first location that we're checking out because ideally you're actually gonna want to probably grind here depending on your gear so let's go ahead and pop the bus we're gonna do some simple grinding at the bloody monastery right here now this is one of the best experience spots but it's definitely a lot more intense not just gear wise but focus wise as well which may be a variable when you're trying to level up a lot we're gonna pop some buffs and start grinding we're gonna put our 10 right here we're gonna post up here and we're going to be getting the skill and experience buff right here when you're grinding for xp and you're solely focused on leveling you want to have as many xp buffs as you can while still being able to grind efficiently so if you're popping a shit ton of damage buffs wherever you're grinding you're going to be losing out on a lot of xp and your time would be better spent getting better upgrades and then coming back to grind for that xp later so here's a quick example of some buffs we got we got our mercenaries experience 200 we've got our book of combat which i definitely suggest always having an order up for it in the marketplace make sure you, if you have one you order another one so that you have them back to back because they can take a while to get i just ran out of my vp but you're definitely going to want a vp as well for that extra xp prioritize secret book of the old moon you don't have to have comma but you're definitely probably going to want to make some extra money and you're going to want that extra energy recovery rate so that you can always pull out your black spirit go to exchange and then use your energy buff right here if you have extra stuff of course go ahead and pop those as well we have our veil hearts buff activated to constantly go we want to save time and not have to activate this so make sure it's checkmarked use perfumes of courage if you can the faster you can kill the better i suggest getting a crog dollo set so you can get even more dps simple cron mills always b strats b strats b strats always have these if you have blessed message scrolls those always help yay we just got one blessed i didn't think i was gonna get it that time of course always make sure that you're trying to get the extra blessed message scrolls on the black spirits adventure boards but from now on you need to save all your arcana cards that manipulate the game board when you start getting close to that next scroll trust me you're gonna want those determined rolls to get as many of these blessed mesh scrolls as you can your arcana cards and dice are gonna stack up but just be patient these are now your best friends and you need to get every single one you can and finally we're gonna pop a bell there's not one active at the moment get even that extra xp baby and if you're in a guild, you definitely want to get State of Perseverance activated as often as you can. Of course, there are a ton of more buffs and you can't always have all of them on at the same time, of course. So what I do is try to keep it simple. And I remember that I always have four main buffs and everything else is extra. So for me, it's easier to remember four buffs by having two purple buffs, your Beastrot, your Veilheart buff, and then two orange buffs, your simple Cron Mill and your Villa buff. As awesome as it is having all of these buffs, you're not going to be able to maintain all this. As long as you have the 
those four main buffs, feel free to start grinding. And then as you continue to grind, every once in a while, look at your buff bar and then ask yourself, okay, what's another extra one that I can pop? Do I need to visit the church soon? Do I need to open up the Black Spirit exchange option again? Do I have any more perfumes of courage? Are there any more scrolls I can get? Things like that. But you guys get the idea. Make sure you have your main buffs and go start grinding. So here's the thing. If you are in LV, a bloody monastery is at least at the moment the best spot in the game for experience. Kind of. Because you have to rely on the LV buffs. When they pop up, you get insane damage and you can get crazy XP here. It's extremely similar to trees, except you get a crap ton of money here. So this is where you're going to want to be grinding. And I wish this place existed when I first started leveling. All right, we already got a buff. Hell yeah. This is what makes Bloody Monastery so good. If we hit chat, we can get our buff on our weapon. There we go. And now we have for 10 minutes this insane buff. Let's go. We can kill these mobs so fast. Don't forget to make your pets faster if you do get the buff. Looks like we were interrupting that guy's spot. But you guys get the idea. I'll link some more rotations down below. We're going to head to, you guessed it, trees. Trees is the best spot in the game pretty much for XP. So what we're going to do is save some of these locations. If you're going to be grinding at any of these locations often, you want to make sure you save them as a favorite. So we're going to go to trees and save this one as a favorite for a quick example. We're going to come to the south of these mountains right here. Trees is at this point right around here, just to the northeast of Grana. Now there's a couple locations here. But we're going to go to the one that's right here. That's how you know I spent way too much time here. We're going to hit save location and then we're going to type trees, hit OK. And again, you can do this with any of the other locations as well but you want to save time so make sure you do that so now we're going to the next church buff area so i can show you guys where to get that again you don't have to have it all the time along with all these other buffs of course but you want to try to at least get in the habit of picking up that church buff if you can at least once a day the church buff that is in grana's name is marandora so we're going to go to the nearby npc function and we're going to hit search right here she's right here so we're going to click on her so this is where marandora is just to the east of grana right here and then talk to the church lady again this one is marandora and we're going to get that experience buff again this is the one for this location which again is to the east of grana so you're training all night you wake up and you decide it's time to grind and get that level baby you get on your horse you go to the grind spot you want to go to you already have a safe so you don't have to waste time at all trying to find it you grab the church buff and then you head off to grind baby i also have a video down below on how to get extra experience while you are on scarecrows all right we made it we're gonna pop our tent right here we already got our bus pop so we're gonna go ahead and start the grind baby and then that's it you go from pack to pack, to pack, run around, and then do it again and again and again. And tear them up, baby. Let's tear them up. Pulling packs all day, baby. So I'm going to put a video down below on how to do tree rotations. Check that out if you don't know the rotations. Before you do that, though, I do want to talk about some of the most important things that come with trying to level. So what I'm going to do is divide this section up as if you are a brand new player, and I'm going to quickly talk you guys through how to get from level one to 66. So the first thing you have to know is that you can get to level 56 from just leeching at trees very quickly. So basically you can come over here to this main rotation down here. We'll head over here. And here we are. So this is the main rotation. This is where most leechers are. Of course they're in that tree up there usually. There's actually some leeching going on at the moment. And you would just say something like, can I leech? All right, so this guy wants me to join up with him. So we're going to go ahead and join up with him. We'll show you how a duo or three man rotation is done. The leecher, again, is at the top of that rotation. Just remember to be polite. Use your manners. For example, say something like, hey, guys, would it be okay if I leeched for a little bit instead of, hey, let me leech. You can also tell people, hey, can I leech? I have some elixirs that I can share. And those elixirs will let you give yourself and your teammates buffs so that they don't have to use their own beast draughts. Just remember that the draughts do cancel out the elixirs. Lots of people don't even ask for some, but it is always polite to at least offer. And offering up bells is always a great idea too and super helpful. Next, of course, is just leveling through questing to 56. You're going to want to do your main story anyway. If you haven't done the story at all, you definitely need to do it at least once. It can give you a lot of experience as well. Either way, it's not too hard at all to get to level 56, so you shouldn't have any issue with that. The next grind would be from 56 to 60. For that, say you've done your story and you have done some other questing as well. You have the gear to grind at trees, or you don't and you still want to leech. You can still stay here and leech to 60. It's not too hard to leech level 60 here as well. But be prepared, it definitely takes up a lot more time than just getting to 56. Of course, it depends on how many scrolls you got, but for the most part, plan on a whole day of playing to get from 56 to 60, unless you have a crazy amount of good scrolls like the 530s. Those can definitely save you a lot of time. Now from 60 to 62, things get a little bit more difficult, but it's still relatively easy, which is why I do wanna suggest making sure you know how to do the Changa quest line. Now the Changa quest line is interesting. It works from about 
level 57 to 61, but you have to have the Chenga Tome questline done and have the Chenga Tome equipped to get that extra XP. After you do the Chenga questline, you get a special book that you would put in this slot right here that gives you extra experience that is gained from quests. And yes, you can pass it to alts and it's definitely worth getting. So for example, in some quests, you can get a reward that is combat XP. You can rapidly go from 57 to 61 in what I've heard some people say two hours. So on one hand, yes, it is insanely fast, completely worth it to do, especially if you plan on having alts. On the other hand, it's not as easy as most people would have you believe. It does get exaggerated a bit because most people that say, oh, Oh yes, I got from 57 to 61 in like two hours. While that is true, those people have already done the Chenga quest line and also probably have memorized all the locations for the combat XP quests that go hand in hand with that Chenga tome. Regardless on if you level up through the Chenga method or if you want to save that for later and you just want to stay leeching at trees until 60 or 61, eventually you will get there and it won't take too long. Just stay persistent and that's where the grind starts getting a little bit rougher but trust me, it can definitely be more rough. 61 to 62 definitely does take a lot longer than the other leeching levels. However, I mean, I guess technically you could leeched all the way to 62 and, and people will do it. But I mean, at that point, you kind of want to be starting to making some money. Now, when you're leveling from 61, it starts to get a lot slower and it will start to seem like the XP is going up really, really slow. Until you're level 62, Scarecrows does not really become viable. However, luckily for you, there are things called Marnie Stones. Now, southeast of where we were at uh, trees is Old Wisdom Tree right here. So that's just to the east of Grana. Click on here and go here. Speak with this person right here named Marnie's top assistant. His name's Wacky Toshi. We're going to talk to him. If you click on Marnie Stone, you can see different stones that you can buy that correspond with different mobs at different areas. And you can fill these stones up with the souls of those dead mobs. So for example, this one will get filled up at 250 Crescent Shrine enemies. This Polly's one has 250 as well. I'll show you how to do this. So let's go ahead and pick one of those up. So here we've got the Marnie stone. We can actually right click this and put it on item count. And that way we can see how many we need to fill it up if you want. Oh, quick side note, actually, while we're going to Polly's, you will want to get your SP filled up. Your skill points are what let you invest more much more heavily into different skills. If you just leech up to 56 or higher, you're not gonna have enough skill points at all to fill up the rest of your skills that you need. So you'll wanna grind for that SP. Yes, you'll get it eventually, but there are definitely better spots that give SP than others. And one of them is Polly's, which is at the very southwest of the continent, right here at Polly's Forest. Now I would suggest to get your SP before you go for the 61 to 62 grind. If we zoom out, we can see that we are just to the west of Looney Cabin, across the river. And this is where I always put my horse here. So we're gonna start up here. Polly's is the best spot for getting skill points. My suggestion, if you're not trying to take any shortcuts, is to get your SP as soon as possible or after doing your main story or right after level 56. Whatever of those are earliest that you're willing to do, go ahead and do that. But I know some people do put it off and I've definitely done that before as well. But let me plead with you here. I do highly suggest at level 61, if you haven't gotten your skill points already, go get them. Since the 61 to 62 grind is when it starts to get a little bit hairy, those skill points become a lot more valuable. That being said, some classes do not need much SP at all and some need a lot more. Am I saying you have to max out every single skill that you have? Absolutely not. I'll link some discords down below. You can find out with your discord what the general consensus is on what a good number of SP is for your class to stop grinding. Some classes like Shy barely need any SP to fill up everything. I mean, oh my god, look how much extra I have. Well, some classes you can get away with just having 1500 SP and then you don't have to worry about grinding for SP at that point you can just get the rest naturally some classes are around 1800 SP some are 21 or 2400 it really just depends on what class and how smooth you want the rest of your gameplay to be and what content you plan on doing so just remember that not only do you need to eventually get some decent gear to officially grind at the corresponding location that you want to grind at for XP but you also need some SP as well all right there we go so we just filled up this Marty stone right here we fed it 
all the souls of the Polly's mushrooms. And now we can go back to where we picked it up. So here it says from 57 to 62. All right, here we go. So now we can go ahead and turn this back into this dude. You just talk to him again, hit exchange, and then turn in this stone. If you're level 57 to 62 and you are grinding at any of these locations, you definitely want to make sure you stock up on some. All right, so you finally made it to 62. You worked your butt off at trees. You got your skill points. You did a little leeching. It's okay, everyone does. Maybe you even got your Chenga and finished your main story quest line as well. At this point, we should have some decent gear. We have the skill points that we need at least for a while. We know the basics of the game. We've done most of the main storyline. And if not, that's what you'll be doing. We've started soloing trees a little bit, maybe, or at least joining three man parties at the main rotation. You're using Marnie Stones if you're not 62 yet when you're grinding at other places. Maybe you've even found a guild or a server that you like. Then I would suggest finding a very friendly community and joining them, whether it's a guild, a Discord, a subreddit, or even some research or YouTube guides. You don't necessarily have to join a community, but you do need access to valuable information. At 62 is when you definitely want to start learning certain rotations. This way you can really optimize all of your skills and learn how to most effectively use them all. Not only do you want to learn how to use your rotations, but you also want to learn how to use little hacks like speeding up casting, getting help with evading. Rotations are very important and having a good discord with a good group of people that are friendly and have some great resources can definitely help you out more than anything. For example, in the Shy Discord here, we have a resources channel. We have all the pins messages here. We have Olin specific things here, Elvia resources, and a complete shy guide right here. I may brief through this here and there as I'm getting to 62, but if I just hit 62 or I'm almost there, I would go ahead and finally stop procrastinating and set aside some time and read through this entire guide. You don't have to memorize it all, of course, but at least try to read through it once. Even if you pick out a couple things like add-ons that are best suited for you would help immensely. I'm also gonna link to y'all the BDO PVE looking for group discord. All they wanna do is PVE awesome group content all the time. And as you can see here, they do a lot more than just trees, but what should interest you mostly are these mirror mod groups. These three groups right here are incredibly helpful and you definitely wanna make sure that you upload your gear screenshot to the discord after reading the rules check out the pins and then go ahead and just start typing out DPS looking for group and then find those groups for trees if you want to go ahead and level up some more and yes you can even ask to leech here as well uh, but maybe not try to be as desperate as some people so now you are 62 but let's say you want to get a little bit of extra flex and you want to level up just a little bit more the benefits that you can get past for level 62 are incredibly minuscule well kind of some classes can get a last passive so here's what I'm talking about here is a skill calculator that you can use for example let's say I want to level up my ranger and I'm thinking about going to level 63 but I'm not sure if I want to go there yet if we put in the level and then scroll all the way down we can see the passives down here here they are right here you can see that some skills do improve at level 63 this is one example right here now of course some don't let's look at shy we can scroll down to the passives max out some of these skills hover over them and you can see that for shy technically you don't really have to get past level 60 now some have amazing ones though like Valkyrie let's scroll down and look at hers so we're gonna go to her passives and we're gonna level them all up to 20 and then see what kind of levels up stuff we can get we can see that if we get our Valkyrie up to level 63 we can get plus 2 DP it just depends on how much you value that passive for your class if you have one but I definitely think it's worth looking at at least for your main character ultimately the soft cap is considered 62 now 62 oh 62 62 is where the grind gets rough it's really not even as bad as you think it is but it's the first time where you realize you think it's bad there is a reason most people stop at 62 and that's because it starts getting much more difficult to increase your xp after that getting to 63 from 62 is no easy task and can definitely take a lot Lot of grinding at that point you're gonna have to really start focusing on grinding just for experience and making sure you can do it efficiently as well you want to be grinding for as much XP as you can all the time a lot of people do end up quitting going to 63 and just settling for 62 once they see how difficult it is and I'm not saying that to deter anyone I'm just saying that if you do decide to just stop the grind at 62 that's totally okay and you're not the first all right here we go so now you are 63 and you made it maybe you did it for that awesome passive that you really want on your main character or maybe you don't even get a passive but you did it anyway for the flex because you're a badass mother 
Now 63 is going to be another really rough level, but finally Scarecrows does start becoming better at 63. Of course, if you're really pushing your leveling, you want to be on Scarecrows as much as possible whenever you're AFK. However, even though you can get some decent XP again at 62 on Scarecrows AFK, 63 is where it really starts to shine and you'll start finding yourself spending a little bit more time at Scarecrows than you normally do. That being said, it's still going to seem super slow and you're still going to want to spend all of your time at trees or bloody monastery now you've made it to 64 you've lost all of your friends your kids don't call you on the phone anymore you can't remember the last time you took a shower you survive off coffee alone and you see trees in your dreams every night <laughs> congratulations first of all because not many people make it to 64 that is a massive flex so congrats now let's say you want to get to 65. Now some options have opened up. If you press escape, go into war and then red battlefield, and then you enter a room and then you start playing with other players in red battlefield, you can actually get a pretty decent chunk of experience. If you're really pushing it for 65, you can even go for more trees or bloody monastery. But at least according to my calculations on the gear that I had when I was 64, I was only making about 30% more XP when I was grinding at trees than when I was at scarecrows. I definitely did a lot of RBF at 64. You definitely want to at least do that. Last but not least, the 65 to 66 push meant for those only absolutely insane or those with absolutely no life at all. 65 to 66 great news is actually easier than 64 to 65 since the xp rate at scarecrows stays the same after 62 and up scarecrows gets better and better as you level up now at level 65 scarecrows is better than solo trees better than solo grinding completely and is barely worse than five man trees it may not seem exciting but at 65 if you really want to start pushing for 66 the best thing to do is rbfs and spending all day long at scarecrows of course you don't have to push it what's nice about 65 to 66 is that it will happen easily and automatically you don't even have to worry about it because at that point scarecrows is just so good that you can just get on and play the game and overnight when you afk go do scarecrows and you should be able to reach 66 pretty quickly i did have to do a lot of rbfs it was a lot of fun i love pvp and i also did get distracted with a couple treasure pieces okay maybe not that quickly but <laughs> It's definitely easier and easier as you level up. Last but not least, level 66. Ah, this is where I am at the moment. We are 5.691% into it, baby. If you've reached level 66, congratulations this is an incredible achievement and i am so proud of you for doing it you are amazing so you're level 66 what do you do now you would want to do rbfs all the time that and scarecrows are single-handedly at least in my experience the best way to level up as fast as you can to get to 67 personally i am done with leveling i am happy to have reached 66 now let's cover some extra tips number one make sure you have some semi-idle phone games 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 like Azure Lane, Final Fantasy Brave Exvius, Girls Frontline, Heyday, Farmville, Egg Inc. Any kind of idle phone games will definitely help you out on these long grinds. All of these games have one thing in common and that's you can play them half acidly and eventually you may need to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Very often, I would spend anywhere from 12 to 16 hours a day grinding in the same location over and over and over. Having a couple sexy waifus to look at or making imaginary money on ad cap, having other forms of dopamine releases really is what it comes down to, can help a lot. Have patience. This is going to take a while depending on which level you want to get to. The thing that got me to level 66 was literally just thinking over and over and over about how awesome it would be once. Once I reach that goal. It is a painful process sometimes. That's just the truth. For me, it was so much fun and so rewarding. As soon as I started playing BDO, I found out about the exponential leveling cap system thing, and that was my main goal, and we did it. The best thing about Black Desert Online is some of these goals are absolutely insane that they give you. Getting to 66 doesn't even really do anything for me, really. It's just total flex because I liked it. I got here because I was patient and because I had you guys to help me. This is gonna take a long time even 63 will seem like forever 64 longer even though scarecrows gets good at 64 and 65 
it's still gonna seem pretty long. We're talking months for one level. What got me through to 66 was thinking about how awesome it would be once I got there and being patient. Coffee, 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 coffee. Another tip is to just kind of organize your chat boxes a little bit more. What I mean by this is having a chat that constantly scrolls up, at least somewhat consistently, can really help when you start to get bored. I mean, this is pretty entertaining, right? <laughs> I have another video on how to min-max your time and be more productive with chat boxes down below if you guys want to check it out. But to summarize, you can waste a lot of time chatting with other people. But on the other hand, if you have no chat boxes at all, you might get really, really bored. It sounds simple. I mean, I'm talking about chat boxes, but guys, when you're grinding for hours upon days, upon weeks, upon months, little things like this can really help. Put gold bars into your storages at the two locations that you're going to be grabbing the church buffs the most from. And that way, when you go to the church buff and you do run out you can use the mate to transfer them over to you use counters when you're grinding for a very long period of time it can seem very difficult without seeing any kind of progress go up at all right clicking the trash loot and hitting item count wherever you're grinding at will show you the item on your screen and show you the number below it it's a lot of fun seeing this number go up and it's definitely helped me a lot just having an item counter here get an outfit that you just absolutely freaking love whether you switch out costumes occasionally or you just find one that you like don't feel bad about splurging on costumes <laughs> Make sure your character is just someone fun to look at. This may seem like a weird one, but you're going to be spending a lot of time looking at your avatar. So you want to make sure she looks really hot. I mean, cute. Remember, you are a f badass. Just the fact that you're watching this video means that you want to improve your level at least somewhat and maybe you're considering going for a much higher level or at the very least it just means that you're open to learning new things. This makes you a badass mother You've already won half the battle just by being on YouTube searching up different strategies. I know that's a bit left field, but what I'm saying is that you as an individual already possess everything you need to reach your next goal of reaching whatever level you want to get. Remember that that mindset that took you to this video is the same mindset that you can use to get to any level you want, or for that matter, reach any achievement in game or out. Make sure you guys are having fun. Remember Remember that this is a game after all. My last and final tip is to enjoy the struggle. Yes, I know it's difficult to enjoy grinding at trees for 12 to 18 hours a day, day after day after week after month after month, but you can enjoy part of it. Think about how awesome it would be when you reached that level. Fantasize about reaching that accomplishment. Embrace that body odor you have from not showering for so long. Tell yourself because you are a freaking badass. You're putting in the work. You're grinding. And of course, real quick, I do want to thank you guys. I want to have been able to reach this insane goal if it wasn't for all of your guys help you guys have been so supportive and i just want to thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart for just being there being supportive kind but most of all just being able to be friends and hang out and chat with me guys we did it we reached level 66 i am officially the highest level shy on the north american server as of right now it feels insane saying that and i want to thank you guys sincerely i could not have done this without you guys and your help and your support i love you guys so much thank you thank you thank you for helping me i seriously could not have done this without you guys thank you guys thank you so much for checking my channel today love you guys so much y'all have a great rest of your day thank you for all the support on stream on youtube smash that like and sub button if you haven't already let me know what your goals are down below and of course you know grind harder baby let's go